Hi everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Daily Grind. I am so excited to talk to you today about one of my favorite topics and that would be sewing machines. Now I just purchased a brand new sewing machine, not a big one. You know, I already have a lot of big ones and a lot of heavy duty ones. I needed a small portable one, but the requirements were that being that I am a big time garment sewer and I sew a lot of knits, I do sew wovens too. This is that denim jacket that I made a couple months ago, but I needed something that would get me through for sewing some knits that was on the small importable side. Now this is a great machine because it does not break the budget. And when I put knits under the foot of this machine, I find it performs beautifully. And in fact, I think that this machine performs better than the three to $4,000 machines I'm currently seeing on the market for some of the sewing machine manufacturers, not all, but some. So when you go to purchase the machine, you always want to take your knit fabrics with you, put them under the foot of the machine that you intend on purchasing. And you want to make sure that machine is set up so you can actually try before you buy. That's so important and can help you avoid aggravation down the road. So which one did I buy? All right, check it out. Yes, I bought a brother machine. You know, I've always been a Janome girl, but I just feel in this class right now, at that $500 price point, this is the best machine. I would not go that much lower, but if you are, please stay in that brother brand because I think the brothers from like the $300 to $500 range, I think they're doing a great job on knits. If you go lower, you're not going to be getting a heavy duty machine. You have to be mindful of that. But the price point on this brother NS80 is phenomenal. And you get a lot of features with it, needle up, needle down. You get a lot of stitches, but most importantly, you get your knit fabrics feeding beautifully under that foot. So here is my brand new NS80 machine by Brother, and I wanna show you how nicely it stitches knits. Now we're gonna start off with a swimwear knit, and I'll put this under the foot. And I don't even have a stretch needle in now. I'm just using the machine as if you would use it if you were on a sales room floor in a dealer. So let's see how this works. I'll go slow, no pushing down in that fabric in the needle plate, we all have been there, and that is dreadful. Super smooth on the swimwear fabric. Next up is swimwear lining, and this is what you're gonna use inside of your swimsuit to really give it a little bit more structure. Just one layer, and this is very, very thin. So you think if a machine is gonna choke on thin fabric, it's gonna do it on something like this. Or it could do it on power mesh. So this right here has a little bit of stretch, but this is what you would use, for example, in the front tummy area of a swimsuit to really hold it in. Gives you a little bit of that kind of like Spanx effect, <laughs> but it has some compression there. There again, not choking. And I'm going to go right now to swim foam. This is actually bra making foam, but you could use it in the cups of swimwear or bras. No problem. Now that's a little thicker. And then in a previous video, I talked about using power mesh for the, the cradle of a bra or a bikini top. And I accidentally said power mesh. You do not use power mesh in the cradle because the cradle, it, what's in between those cups can't stretch. So this is non-stretch cradle lining and very, very thin, very, very sheer. So let's see how this does. Look at that. It is perfect. And then I will go to ITY. So right here, ITY is very, very thin, very sheer. Put it right sides together. Put this under the foot. And then after the ITY is double brush poly. There we go. Next up is French Terry. These are all different kinds of knits. It will not have any problem with French cherry. That's a little bit on the beefier side. And let's end it with what sewing dealers usually have on the floor, which is two layers of cotton fabric. And that's the easy stuff. That will make any sewing machine look good. So let's see how the stitching turned out on all of these fabrics with this Brother NS80. 
All right, so check out here. I love my stitching there. Beautiful stitching on the French Terry and on the Double Brush Poly. Beautiful stitching. And let's check out the ITY. Beautiful stitching on the ITY. You see any puckering? Not really. Look at this. True test of puckering. This is that non-stretch cradle lining. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. This is the foam for the bra cups or the swim cups. And here is the power mesh that you're going to use like in the tummy for some tummy control of a swim bottom. And nice stitch there as well as let's check out the lining. Beautiful stitch on the lining. And last but not least, the swimsuit fabric itself. Beautiful stitching, and I'm using a size 12 universal needle. You guys, I have to tell you, this NS80 is just a fabulous machine. Know your knits, know your fabrics when you're going shopping for a machine because the machine matters. And I just think that the brothers in this $500 price range give you excellent, really top-notch results. The only thing this machine lacks is up top. It does not have any pressure control. But there again, I have lived without foot pressure control and have done okay. And there are ways to get around a machine in this price range that doesn't allow you to adjust the amount of pressure that the foot is placing on the fabric. That we can work with. If you have it, that's nice. Now, if the NS80 is too plain for you because it doesn't have the scissors up at the top, you could go up to the Brother PS500. You're going to have that same beautiful stitching that you're going to find on these, but then you get the fancy things like your foot pressure and your cutter, and that's coming in probably between $700 and $1,000. So that is also a really fabulous machine. Check out these brothers. They're awesome. I just think they're perfect for knits. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.